All right, hey, collector. I don't know what I want to pull. I think I want to tap into your feelings. Because <laughs> I want y'all vibrating high for all these good things that's coming in. All right, so let's see. We're going to pull from a couple of cards. But let's start out with these. Now, I do hope everything is going well out there in La La Land. <laughs> And I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support, guys. Your likes, your shares, your comments, your donations, your cash apps, all that. Now you have control coming out here first. We're going to put that right over here. So we're going to pull from a couple cards. And you have Embrace and Master. And I like that. Now let me see. I think I want to pull from the... um. We're going to pull from a few decks. Something I... Mm. I know I pull from a few decks, but I'm going to try to switch it up and make it a little different. Now, where is those cards? I got a little setup over here. about that guys I really need to go get me some lemons y'all I ain't got no lemon all right let's pull from you all right what's this control the first card is going to be on control, and whatever's after that will be on the next card. All right. Now, this is lining up with your potential is endless. Now, this control is the number eight. Now... I don't know. In the last reading, no, I was actually looking at something and somebody was interpreting the card one way and I said, ooh, that person might even lose control over their emotions due to something being really shocking that's going to make them really happy. Now, this is what I'm actually getting. Now, this is number eight and number 45, which is nine. Y'all know I like to see things that's in alignment. Now this embrace is come home to yourself. The escape. And what is the master? Don't be afraid to sing, which is very fitting with the spaceship. Now, I just was telling y'all about my dream as the spaceship, as a rocket. Now, why is that like that? Now, let me see what's going on here, y'all. Nine, five, seven, nine. The 
page statement eight. Huh. Now, it's something that you need to take a chance on. Now, this says them, but I got the feeling it's some type of. Now, I'm just looking at the eyes behind you. When it's control, with your potential is endless. Somebody might be watching you from afar. Now, the master, and don't be afraid to sing, the escape is now you're learning something. Now, there's something that you're going to have to embrace. Some type of change. Some type of new door. Something. Let me see though. Now, I said, let me tap into your feelings. And I don't see anything down here that's really countering you feeling in a bad way. Because you got the master embrace and control. It's like you're gaining that control over your destiny. Really honoring and honing into your purpose. Learning, being that student, being open to healing information. Mastering oneself. Man. Well, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what's going on. Let me see. We're going to pull from these. Now, all this is going to be lined up with over here with the master. Now you got the it's crazy. That says don't be afraid to sing and they singing, y'all. <laughs> Guidance and leadership. And potential at the bottom of the deck. Now I don't know how much clear this can be with your potential is in this over here on this throne and this right here. Telling you to embrace this leadership role that you might not see coming. Or if you're in it already. Now, it made me pay attention to this black belt. Now, some of you guys might actually know a little bit of karate. And even be a black belt. And you have defiance here. With change at the bottom of the deck. Now, I just want to see what Defiant is telling you to do. With a yo yo. Now, it's so ironic that her name is Yo yo. You may be going back and forth with a decision. Contemplation, maybe, maybe, or maybe it's other people defiant in your energy, and that's to be expected because the energy is crazy out here in these streets. Now, this card is telling you um, if you're uh, up against the wall. If you're feeling like you're being pushed around, it's not all in your head. The pressure is on. But guess who, but guess who won't crack? Just like the yo-yo toy. If you if you feel 
like you're sliding downward, a quick snap and you'll be back up. Now it says that may mean calling out behavior patterns in the people around you or even yourself. It's fine to put some bass in your voice. Now how many times do I say that? Just make sure you're still kind. If you keep your cool, you'll stay in total control. Right here on your potential is in this. And the escape is telling you to be calm. Look how she's sitting in the bed and embrace the criticism. Child, listen. Put your, it ain't nothing wrong with putting a little bass in your voice. Now, that is really going back to the last reading that I just did. It was so crazy. <laughs> now, it do look like you might be providing that guidance, telling you don't be afraid to sing. Now, you might got a good little voice out there. If you do like the same. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Look like you got the potential, boo. To do what you want to do. Now we're just going to pull from the tarot. I think I got enough cards. I think I get the idea of what Spirit is trying to say right here. But we'll pull one card from here to close out the reading. That's just making me pay attention to it. Confirmation, confirmation that you got it. This is the first time this card has ever come out. And it is Darga. Whatever that means. I don't know. Now I think I'm going to actually use these cards. Just because of the colors. <laughs> Let me make sure they write. They look good enough. Beat them up a little bit so they can hopefully come out one at a time. Alright. Now, you somebody that might like color. I'm just looking at all the color. really kind of popping out at me even though I use all these covers all the time it's something yeah you might be in alignment your chakras yeah now you got some good news coming your way in regards to whatever you've been learning studying and teaching this is some news Now, they may have been attained through guidance. Oh, you might be giving that guidance. But whatever this is, it's protected. That might got a lot to do with some money. Something somebody giving you. Some equal exchange going on here. Now, that might be a pickup. In regards to um, clientele, you know, a bounce back, some stimuli. Now, the Five of Cups is here on leadership. 
Now, because this is 32 and 5, I think you're coming home to yourself in this regard. Now, you might be helping people come about a situation such as that. Or learn from that. Yeah, of course we do. Learn from those past situations. But let's see. about to shock you. And I think you're going to be shouting to the rooftop. I promise you. I promise you. It, it, you about to be shouting to the rooftop. I told you, you're moving on from that. And this is right on that bounce back. Now, you can definitely be seeing three, 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 because they go to three of wands, three of cups, and three of swords. Sheesh. Now, this fell up under the, um... Page of Pentacles and the Seven. I told you something was protected. You moving. So I'm going to make you happy. Now you got the four of swords and the seven of pentacles. Something is wrong. I think you can rest. Now this is you healing. Something you ain't gonna see coming. Yeah, because change is at the bottom of the deck. And it might happen in the evening. I'm just looking at Eve. Oh, Spirit tell me I'm telling the truth. <laughs> so I'm going to have it in the Eve. You know what I want to look up? Let me see. I want to see something. I want to see Golden afternoon metaphors comes from a childhood and innocence in which the youth may simply be enjoying life but with no destination. A second stasna? Hmm. I was going to give me something more than that because I'm just thinking about that thing that I seen with Golden Afternoon. Hmm. 
Yeah. That's why we're seeing that sun card with that. Something is going to make, I'm telling you. I don't know. That's maybe why I've been telling y'all to go look at uh, comedy. To raise your vibration. Do something. Something pleasure. And I told you to do it without any substance. <laughs> Y'all, I'll be making that stuff up. It'll be coming to me just like that. Listen. I'm not just saying stuff. Now, this is some leap of faith. Now you got the four of pentacles. Now I think that this hey. I tell you spirit speaks in, in mysterious ways. And this is 45. And this is 45. Now, whatever you're doing may be kept competitive. However, I think it's a gift. It's some type of gift. And I told you it was protected as well. However, this is 5-5 five, five here. There's some type of change. Hmm. I think I'm going to go... Three rows. I just want to be a little bit nosy about what's going on here. But you got three, four, five down here. Two, three, four, five. Six with the lovers and the king of pentacles and the queen of wands is thinking about something. But it do look like she's moving. Yeah, wherever you're moving to, it's going to be all good, boo. It's something you have let you show people how to come into alignment. You could even be somebody that teach people how to uh hit their range <laughs> if you're some type of coach. Something you help people master, and it can be various things, boo. Mm -hmm. To hone in on their gifts. It could be so many things. To never give up. To reach for the, the, reach for the stars. Look at that Ace of Pentacles. And the... Ugh. I'm saying all that and this is what showed up. Teaching people. But that's your money. Look at that. That's right there on that 33. Yeah. Be more careful, spirit. And look what's behind that. Look at that. That what you're thinking about, boo? You got to have it. Is that the is this is this 33? The master over there? Is that him? The 33? With these two right here? That's unbelievable. <laughs> I don't even think I gotta go another row now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> wow. <gasps> Woo. Yeah. That's deep. Yeah, they go to they go your five 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 right there. And this is this is 
something that you ain't going to see coming. If it was a crossroads, I think in a major mind up, boo, some communication is coming to the world with you. And they go five, five, five. You can definitely be saying that. But, um, this is fabulous right here. Have this ever happened in a reading like that? With the 33? That bounce back? That master? Look at that. With the king and the queen next to each other. Now that's a power cup or that could just be you. Whatever you want it to be. Boo. With that change. I told you somebody sneak up on you. <laughs> you about to be happy. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this card is talking about. About them fives, boo. Now it says you're exhibiting great strength in the face of things that would make others, including former versions of yourself, crumble. Daga, the warrior goddess, is with you, carrying her bow and her arrow, sword. Trident, Lotus, Thunderbolt, Golden, Disgust, and Conch. You are embodying her fierce strength and loving protection. You have overcome major hardships with your willpower and will continue to leap over any challenges that confront you. And it's telling you to call upon her whenever you need strength. And that's why that's there. With leadership, overcoming it, mastering yourself, it's clarifying that they this and I told you to protect it. So that ain't clarification. I don't know what it is. You got the master number and the master card down here. Now boo, that is your message. Hit that like button, follow the channel, and I will see you on the next one.